Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sideline Bling. We have breaking news because mm. Club Atletico San Luis introduced their newest signing. Yes, Cruz Azul and San Luis were playing in the Mexican League. A dog came into the pitch and Berterame, the San Luis player, picked her up. The dog kissed him. Kissed him. Beautiful sight. And San Luis decided, you know what? This dog is going to be ours now. We're signing him. It was the most adorable moment of the weekend in mm. soccer. And I'm pretty sure no pitch invader has ever had that much love after a soccer game. Yeah, normally they go to jail for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> this one gets to sign for the club. It's and a actually story. practice with them. And score goals, yeah. So yeah. cute. Nice, Tunita, nice. Speaking of transfers, LA Galaxy introduced Chicharito with Mexican actor Eugenio Derbez voicing it. Nice message and everything, the, but I just, like, that's that's the donkey from Shrek. I just couldn't get that out of my head. It is the donkey from Shrek for all Spanish speakers, but if you're an English speaker, you guys should go online and watch his movies. You'll either cry or laugh, just like in a penalty shootout. Yeah, exactly the same. So the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA have a pretty weird, cool, whatever you want to call it, pregame routine. They're wrestling the Robin and Brooke Lopez brothers against Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure Vince McMahon is eyeing them for next WrestleMania. Giannis can change his name to the Greek Freak. That could be like his wrestler. That, works, that, that works. works. And the Lopez bros also work. Love it. We'll see them soon in WrestleMania, probably. New year, new apartment, new bed for Lukaku. That's the size of an 18-yard box. <laughs> Literally, I could use that bed. I'm pretty tall, like Lukaku, but that's as big as his first touch. That's how much his first touch takes him. It's humongous. It's unnecessary. No, oh, he's probably super comfortable. Or maybe they can do a lot of sleepovers, you know, his teammates. Next. <laughs> Messi and his family had a cool little moment and they shared it on Instagram, uh, putting themselves with Disney character filters. Messi got the prince of uh, Pocahontas. Pocahontas, that one. And uh, which one will you get? I don't know, but I have my phone, so we should try, try. it. Ready? Oh, I did a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, ready? Let's see. Hey! Aladdin! <laughs> I got Aladdin! You look, let's see what I get. Mm -mm. Simba, 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 Simba. Ah, Scar! Oh, Scar. Scary! Mm, I like it. The 2020 NFL Draft will have a little twist this year and it'll be hosted on the water at the Fountains of the Bellagio in Las Vegas. It's going to be very weird because they're going to take the draft picks from where they're sitting to the stage on a boat. On a banana boat. I'm kidding. Not a, banana, not a banana boat. I can't imagine what the rounds five through seven are going to be like. Just like, come on, let's do, get this over with. I wonder who's going to cannonball first. For sure someone will. So Edison Cavani might be on the move this winter and his mom is already talking about it, saying his son wants to leave. Yeah, but that's not the only mom that stands up for their child. We have Rabio's mom. Neymar's dad. Who else? Icardi's wife. Oh, we can't forget about her. <laughs> That's not his mom, but it's kind of the same. Reminds me of the PTA from school. Yeah. If somebody needs to ask their parents for where to move, it's like Ansu Fati or Mbappe. True. Not this 30-year-old guys. Now let's get into fits, kits, and kicks. What do we have, Daniela? Well, today we're going to start with Louis Vuitton that partnered up with the NBA because they're going to be designing the trophy case. Yeah, for the Larry O'Brien trophy. Their first time like in a major, major organization in the United States is their way to get into North America. It's really pretty. It has a huge V for victory. Or for whatever you guys want it Baton. to be. Yeah, probably. But it's nice. It's good looking. I like it. <laughs> so Puma and New Mexico United partnered to be the only soccer team to have Puma as their kid sponsor. Crazy, right? Crazy, but we can't forget about Chicago Fire, right? Yeah. But okay. I get it, MLS. We're trying to put that in the past, right? So this week marks a year since Emiliano Salas' tragic accident where he lost his life and Nance and Bordeaux are giving him a nice, nice way to remember him. Both clubs will be wearing different jerseys to what they usually do. Nance will be replacing their yellow and green traditional jerseys for Albi Celeste colors and Bordeaux will be sporting an Argentine flag. Yeah, those are beautiful jerseys and I'm sure all the pre-game ceremonies will be nice too. So yeah, that's a nice way to end Fitz Kits and Kicks.